Highfield's Ocean Master inflatables are heavy duty big water ribs, the kind you would normally associate with commercial use. With a 3 mm thick aluminum hull and 20 degree dead rise, this Ocean Master 390 Deluxe can handle some pretty rough water. A secondary benefit to that deep V is a very comfortable ride, which becomes more important the further you travel. Winds were light during our test, but there was enough cruiser boat traffic to find a few wakes over two feet, and the little Ocean Master had no problem handling them, even over 30 miles an hour. Now, a lot of inland lake tenders tend to have a fairly flat bottom on them. The Ocean Master's got a 20 degree dead rise. And I'll tell you, if you're long hauling anywhere, especially your cottage, that can make a big difference in a ride comfort. Most high fields have oversized tubing, and the 390's tubes are 18 inches in diameter, which is big for an inflatable boat under 13 feet. These large tubes offer more carrying capacity, flotation, and a higher, drier ride. Such a solid little boat. The deluxe model upgrades a standard bolt-in seat to a wider fixed bench seat with cushioned backrest that can accommodate two adults. The seat base flips up and is held open by a gas assist strut making it easy to add or remove gear. Since the base extends after the transom, storage is effectively increased to over 10 cubic feet. To make life easy, there's a hatch to access the bilge pump from directly overhead. The tow arch adds functionality with big welded cleats and improves the already rugged looks. Having the LED all-around mast headlight on top foregoes hunting for light poles in the dark. Four heavy-duty lifting davits are welded to each corner of the cockpit, and large floor drains with the removable plugs are located just in front of the bench seat. This boat has the raised cockpit floor, which sits above the hull, keeping bilge water away from your gear. Up front, you will find a bow step with a mooring cleat that makes landings a breeze. An integrated 35-liter fuel tank sits up front under the bow seat. Having the fuel up front is ideal as it helps balance the boat and keep the bow down. There's even a handy place for paperwork under the seat cushion. And one of my favorite deluxe features is the Sea Deck Marine flooring that is both functional and aesthetic. It's a non-skid shock absorbent material that provides cushion underfoot. It won't absorb water and doesn't get hot in the sun. It simply looks fantastic and certainly raises the premium feeling of the 390. You know, one of the fantastic things about inflatable boats is the stability of them. I mean, this boat's under 13 feet long, it's about six feet wide, and I can just stand here and small chop on the side, on the tube, and I'm not worried about it. You wouldn't do this in a tin boat. Our test boat was powered by Yamaha's 996cc four-cylinder F50, which is so quiet and smooth, you may forget it's even running. At over 1500 RPM, more vibration comes from the water than the engine. With just over 10 pounds per horsepower, getting on plane was immediate. But the F50 weighs 33 pounds more than an F40. The added power and weight of the F50 combined to make for a fair bit of bow rise out of the hole. It doesn't last long, but it left me wondering if the lighter F40 might be a better match for this 390. Since that decision will depend on the application, it's nice to have the choice. Handling was stable and predictable with minimal steering effort, even with the big 50 on the transom. Once on plane, the deeper V and strong lifting strikes help keep the 390 planted, even during aggressive turns. Top speed with the F50 was just under 45 miles an hour. Ride quality is excellent with the deeper 20 degree V and simply can't be compared to a 15 degree hull. There was no pounding sensation even crossing a medium sized boat wake. At 35 miles an hour, six inch chop was barely noticeable. It's just amazing how it rides in one foot chop. If you need a tough mid-size inflatable that can handle rough conditions, you probably have a high field ocean master in your sights. If you plan to use that inflatable for exploring or as a yacht tender, you might want to consider the deluxe model, which transforms a utility boat into a more comfortable and versatile inflatable. Basically, the perfect tender.